Hey everybody, this is Uterjelf911 here, and welcome back to more of Link's Awakening. Okay, in the last part, we got our sword shield, went up north through the mysterious forest, and got the tail key. Now, in this part, we are going to go do some things here in May Village. I found out that I think the name of this town is May Village. Okay, so we're going to want to head north up here to the fishing pond. Now, let's see what this... Uh, this man here telling us we only uh, fish for 10 rupees. Oh, okay. So, yeah, left and right on the uh, D pad and aim to cast when you fish press the button rapidly to reel him in. Okay. So, yeah, the fish, you're, the little fish, if you catch one of those little fish that there are three of, you will get 5 rupees. So, it's not worth it to catch them. You're going to want to go for the big fish that give you 20. Now, specifically, you're going to want to go for the one at the uh, uh right under you now i accidentally caught a little fish here the runt see only gives you five rupees now you're going to want to go for the one directly below you for uh, two reasons one it's easier to catch than the other one and it has a heart piece with it so let's see here if i can sort of let's see here if i can get it down here to uh this fish here Hook him on. Okay. Let's see uh, here. Just reel him in. You're going to want to press A or A and B repeatedly. Even though he only tells you to press the button, it's uh, you're going to want to press A and B. Okay, so. Uh, no, we do not want to try again. So, yeah. There we go. We got one more heart piece. Uh, okay, so now let's go do. We have a few other things that we can uh, still do. Okay, so we're going to want to head. Uh, east here to this field and let's see here hopefully I can remember which one it's in I think it's it's this row okay here we go we get the first secret seashell yeah you're gonna there are 26 of them I believe there are 26 of them in the game you're gonna want to get uh, you don't need to get all 26 because getting all 26 doesn't get your reward you get a reward for getting 20 though so you're gonna want to get 20 they're going to want to come into this game shop here. Let's talk to this guy. The trendy game, only 10 rupees a play. Press the A and B buttons to move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over the buttons to play. Good luck. Now, holding down B moves the crane to the right. Holding down A moves the crane down. Now, we're going to want to go after the Yoshi doll. What is going on? Hey, you got what the heck is going on here? Let me see here. Okay, so that's A, and that's B. Oh yeah, you have to stand on the screen thing. My bad. God, I was being an idiot there. Okay, now we're gonna want to move it, the shadow over the Yoshi doll, and we're gonna want to grab Yoshi. All right, cool. Now. One thing that you're probably going to notice throughout this game is it has a ton of references to the Mario series and a lot to the uh, the uh, Kirby series also. Not as many, but it definitely has some. It will show up in like, there are enemies that are like Kirby enemies, Mario enemies, and uh, as we see we have like Yoshi, and that Yoshi actually says he's been uh, quite popular showing up in a lot of games, so uh, pretty neat. So uh, now we're going to want to come over here, up here into this house, and we're going to want to talk to this mother now that we have the Yoshi doll. Oh, will you give that doll to my baby? Uh, you're going to want to do this, and you will get the uh, ribbon. I traded your Yoshi for the ribbon. Trade the ribbon for something else. This starts a trade quest, a trade sequence. Not required to. It's not required to beat the game, but you get the item you get for doing this is definitely the best item in this game, and is actually even better than the sword. I would think. Okay, so we're gonna want to come in here, talk, to, make up jewels, dresses. I want it all, and some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Okay, sure. 
Thanks, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. Okay, so we get Chain Chomp. We gave this uh, mini uh, Chain Chomp here the ribbon for the dog food. Okay. Now the uh, now we're now that we have the dog food. Now, if you didn't know, Chain Chomps are based off of dogs, like you know, with their barking and everything. So that that I guess that's sort of why they have the dog food there. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Here's a freaking uh, freaking uh, thing we're gonna wanna now with the dog food we're gonna wanna go into this house and talk to the croc canned food for heaven's sakes man give it to me please he's hysterical what do you do give it to him okay sure now this crocodile apparently eats dog food and this crocodile also has quite a large storage of bananas that he gives to us now, I don't know if this is supposed to be that, but he kind of looks like King K. Roll from, like, Donkey Kong, which is part of the Mario series, who stole, like, all of Donkey Kong's bananas in, like, the Donkey Kong Country game, so could be a reference there, but I'm not entirely sure, so don't take my word for it there. Now we have done everything we can in the, uh, like, the, uh, the uh, trade sequence. We've gotten all the secret seashells that... Not that we can get right now, but that I feel like getting. We've gotten all the heart pieces we can get at this point with our current arsenal of items. So, with that, we're going to want to head off to Tail Cave. Now, here's the thing about Tail Cave. It's a very easy dungeon with, for, with actually a boss that's sort of difficult for uh, this part of the game. For like a first boss, it's pretty difficult. Now, what I consider even harder than Tail Cave is trying to find Tail Cave because I can never find this place like no matter what every time I played the game I've beaten this game uh, how many times I don't even know like three times before and I can never find Tail Cave so hopefully and here's Tail Cave okay cool let's walk up to the keyhole one and here we are in Tail Cave the first dungeon of the game and sorry for this video being short but I want to make the dungeon its own video because it's a dungeon I can beat in one video and I just want to make it its own video to make this one from going like 20 minutes long. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time.